I'm back guys. Sorry for the radio silence. Uh, since I'm out of South Africa, a few things have been going on. So this video is just a little bit of an update, health update. If you haven't seen the DNF video from I'm in South Africa, that'll give you a little bit more context on what I'm about to go into. But uh, for those of you that have, I've basically seen loads of people, loads of specialists, sport doc sports doctors. Um, I've had some blood work done, multiple blood work done. I've got one test back today. And so that's why I thought I'd do this video, get a bit of an update to you guys. Um, I did the Medichex Ultimate Performance Blood Test for anyone who's interested. And then went to see a sports doctor, got some other blood work done, still waiting on that. And then I can have a call with him so he can interpret the results for me. Essentially, the Medichex results came back and suggest that my white blood cell count is like rock bottom, like really low. Uh, which I guess suggests some sort of infection or easy to get infection. Um, and then iron levels, one of my iron levels is like really high, which is, or quite high, which is weird, but I don't know what the levels are meant to be for an athlete because that's, that's obviously gonna be very different to a, a regular person who doesn't train for a living and race for a living. So that's why I'm seeing this sports doctor who's gonna hopefully interpret it all for me and we can get to the bottom of it. But yeah, it's, it's still ongoing. I'm still, you know, struggling with a bit of, a bit of stomach pain, but um, we're, we're moving in the right direction. Um, and hopefully it's something that can get resolved pretty soon. I've thought about racing, obviously this, getting the stomach sorted out is the priority, but um, yeah, I'll talk about racing a bit later on because I do have a plan. Obviously want to get back to racing as soon as possible, but you'll notice this doesn't really look like Bradford and Avon up here. And it's because I'm in Andorra for two weeks with these two guys, Leon and Freddie. And we're doing a two week altitude camp, which is going very well so far. I'm absolutely loving it. The roads here are absolutely insane. And it's just a chance for me to get away, get some good training done, take my mind off, you know, some frustrating things that have been going on. Um, and figure some bits out. We're working hard here for two weeks, uh, working very hard. And well, yeah, session today, we've got already done a swim, which has gone very well, swimming at altitude. I've got to be honest, wouldn't recommend it. It's not very fun, <laughs> but it gets you fit. And then we're doing three hour ride today, three ish hour ride and eight by three minutes, pretty hard. Trying not to get dropped, but probably will. And then an easy run off. Yeah, we're going hard. We're getting the days ticked off. We uh, went on a 90 minute trail run yesterday. Ended up with three hours on the clock. Got lost up a mountain at 2,500 meters. Um, and it was a little bit sketchy. <laughs> so yeah, we won't do that again, but we're gonna be documenting some of the training we're gonna be doing. Obviously with Freddie and Leon, if you guys wanna know any information about what they're up to or whatever, drop them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be documenting the pain of trying to hold on to them, basically. Pain, hold on to me, mate. <laughs> Talk about the TSS we've got so far. So we're on uh, day three and a half. Yeah. I'm over, I'm over a thousand TSS already. <laughs> 20 hours as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight by three minutes. Boost the wall. <laughs> We're pretty buggered. Uh, I think I've averaged around 400. Freddie, a bit above. Yeah, just a bit above. Yeah. I mean, that's everything we had on the day. We, uh, yeah, two and a half hours in, 240 in, and what, over 1800 meters of climbing. Yeah. I think we're close to 19. Yeah, just over 1900 now. So 1900 meters of climbing in 55K. 
we're getting some elevation in. Problem is, the French frog is up the road. Yeah, we've come on camp with a mountain goat, and he just keeps on bloody going. <laughs> we need to like stop him somehow. Yeah. What are we going to come up with? Well, I feel like we could mess with his bike a little bit, but we get in a lot of trouble. Should we just take one crank off or something like that? <laughs> He's got yeah, one leg. He'd never notice. <laughs> In, in the it's other ride, we put the other crank back on yeah. to equal it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got to do something because it's, uh, well, it makes us work hard, but. Do the, do the fans want some stats? Go on. For me, bear in mind my power meter's dropped out about a million times. Yeah. Average power, 240. Yeah. Normalized, 310. Big day. And we've still got a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> Work's getting done, we're chopping wood. All about the TSS. <laughs> and for all the fans who keep saying, you're not doing any bloody training. Apparently we're on a holiday. <laughs> this is a bloody business trip. This is a business trip. And business is getting bloody done. Doing... <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's run off the bike time. We've had a very quick transition of uh, about 25 minutes. It's been longer than that. It's, closer, it's closer to an hour. <laughs> yeah, we well, don't need to talk about that. There's a step there. <laughs> Why are you running with your um, Series 87,000 Sony thingy? Oh, I just don't want to slow myself down. Why are you wearing hokers? No hokers Am I even allowed on this run if I'm not wearing hokers? No. Nope. Well, yeah. oh. It's not a walk. <laughs> yeah, this run may not go well for me as well. It's only a 30 minute run off the bike, but uh, my stomach's not feeling amazing. I've suddenly got quite a bit of bloating, um, but we'll see how we go. Obviously, we've got to get a GPS and this fossil takes a while. <laughs> Does the job, The though. original Garmin. I've got it. <laughs> you got it? I've got one bar. 4Runner 965. Solar. Sponsored athlete. No, it's not solar. Oh. It's AMOLED. <laughs> Breakfast with Bob. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to run around with this. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, my legs. Uh -uh. <laughs> I think I've dropped this very early. We're actually four minutes in for the case. <sighs> it's just bloody early up here. No carbons. <laughs> what else does he say? <laughs> no cheeseburgers. <laughs> Big day in the uh, Chevalier Webb and Palmer household. <laughs> Let's have a little what a triple barrel that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah. You could we definitely to, get bullied. <laughs> yeah, we need to uh, rethink the, the brand of this. But, you're right, Lionel. Good. Nice. Bit of a uh, egg fried rice for dinner. We've already we've realised Freddie and I are pretty much 1,200 TSS already this week, aren't we? Oh yeah. yeah. Twenty. And we're on Thursday. Twenty-two hours in so far. Couldn't start any more. Twenty-three yeah, hours. Twenty-three. We <laughs> we've also got some big days coming up, so <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> two just brutal weeks. And this guy's just flying along. And, well. Yeah, 22 hours 50. Yeah. So far this week. <laughs> Nasty way to go. What way? <laughs> <laughs> 1,255 TSS. It's what we came here for. Um, let's talk races. Hmm? Leon, are you allowed to talk about what you're no, training for? Lionel. Please. Lionel, are you allowed to talk about what you're training for? Yeah, training for a challenge roll. Nice. You gonna win? You gonna win it? Yeah. Nice. Heard it here first. Cool, good talk. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. It's been a while. Sorry, okay, what should I expand on? New world record? New world record. Um, what, what will you do with the prize money? That's what people want to know. Uh, We've had this discussion already. A gymney. A gymney. 
Yeah. And there's a really nice one, like, <laughs> driving around oh, here that really I really nice want. <laughs> um, no, uh, potentially get a place in the mountains. That would be cool. So that we can come more often. What are your thoughts on Andorra so far? It's been really, really good. Um, the road services are pretty mega, aren't they? Yeah. I've wanted to come for a long time. Yeah. Um, why so many cyclists. You, why... Why Andorra? Like why here? Just why here? <laughs> what were we going to go to? He loves Camworth. He bums Camworth. I should not put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, Leon's actually friends with all the pro cyclists around here as well. <laughs> Making friends with everyone. Jack Gray from EF. Oh, yeah. yeah. Leon's new oh, friends. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we were going to go to the Alps because we know the Alps and it's always nice to go to a place where you know the roads and you're not losing any time and energy looking for places to train. But most of the pools are shut in the Alps right now, whereas here it's just like open yeah. and um, we've got the pool what, 10 minutes down the road from here. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's nice actually to try something new um, and... I think we've been impressed. The road surfaces are really, really, really good. Yeah. Um, the weather's been... We had a tough first day, but today tough, was short. Couple of days. And, uh, couple of days. Yeah, but the second day was dry. It was dry, yeah. It was still cold. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's been, it's been really good. Fresh air, hard yeah. training. Altitude. Yeah. But somewhat, we were just thinking that it doesn't feel like we're at altitude because we've just no. been smashing it. Yeah. yeah. We're doing yeah. we're doing pretty well. <clears throat> pretty good numbers considering we're at altitude. So yeah. Also loose term pool, more sauna. Yeah. It's hot about tub. 35 degrees in that pool. It's hot. And yeah. it's cloudy and we still managed to get some decent swims in so that's yeah. impressive I think. Yeah, we didn't expect it. First day we arrived and it was uh 12.5 meter lanes <laughs> <laughs> with with like 100 kids in the pool. <laughs> It was uh, more about going to the water slide. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, yeah, and we'd already done about five hours, you no, know, six and uh, six hours of training that day. Yeah. But we drove down to town and Orla Vea, capital uh, accidents and everything, but we still got to swim in. So that was a big day. And, um, yeah, I've just been riding that wave since then. It's going well, yeah. Webb, what uh, races have you got coming up? Um, that's a very good question because I don't really know. <laughs> Ask the coach. <laughs> um, I think Challenge Wells. Yeah. But yet to finalise that decision, and then after that, I generally do not know. Okay. It's. Uh, I want to. Frank. Valencia was good, but it wasn't. I don't think it quite showed where I'm at. So I just want to like consolidate the work and. Yeah. There's quite a few things that happened in Valencia that I really want to like nail and practice and get better before I step onto the start line again yeah um so I think challenge Wales, maybe Swansea nice. but let's see where the fitness is at after this altitude block yeah um after the Alps last year I was on a pretty big wave of fitness so nice. I'm hoping it'll be the same and Maybe Challenge Wells and then um, Le Sable de Yeah. I butchered that. Oh, what on. was the pronunciation like? Was it, give it out of 10. Le Sable de Lone. Okay, well, that sounds good. I understand what it was. The French Le videos. Stables. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, maybe that. All right, so, well, Freddie and I may end up doing um, Challenge Wales together. So. We'll punt it off the front and we'll Choo -choo see what happens. Tension break off the front. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. But and then essentially, uh, I might try and do a few more seventy point threes before I do my next full, just to get some confidence back, um, and then prep for Ironman Lake Placid, which I believe is in like ten weeks' time or so. Um, so that gives me good prep for that. Doing yeah, Challenge Wales seventy point three Swansea in the UK, easy to get to hopefully get some good results there some confidence in choosing numbers and then yeah we can build through that towards lake placid and fingers crossed by that time i will have figured out all the stuff that's going on with the stomach because it's still kind of being a bit of a problem we so a but you have you have actually done something about it haven't you yeah I so all, for all the viewers about, that think yeah. you've not done anything yeah me and leon have been on his back making sure he actually does something yeah. we're, we're definitely doing trial and error and you've done blood tests, you've yeah. seen a doctor, you've spoken to specialists. Yeah. We think it's uncurable and it's broken. <laughs> We've diagnosed Harry with 
uh, chronic appendicitis. Yeah, apparently that's the diagnosis. So he's back on the pain from yes. tomorrow. <laughs> we, we thought... <laughs> so we thought it was a gluten intolerance, which is like the worst thing when, well, <laughs> when you're an athlete. When you're an athlete and you want to go to the bakery, and these two getting pain chocolates this morning, and I was like, it's probably the worst day of my life. I'll be honest. How nice but, was the bakery though after? You couldn't eat that. <laughs> the bakery looked and it smelled incredible. I had to smell Leon's um, pastry <laughs> before he ate it. <laughs> but we think it's not it's not that, so we might get back on the pastries tomorrow. Maybe. Dr. Lionel is giving me permission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sweet. We're going to do some more videos while we're out here. Um, just finishing up some grub and then we'll get back to training. But if there's anything you guys want to see specifically... Drop them in the comment section below and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out.